hindi maganda Sabihin sa magulang at sa bahay muna Sa kalye, pinagin! Best friend, natin ang mas suotin kahit saan uh-huh. Ingatan ang kamay, maghugas Pag galing sa labas sa school, be the kid Sa pila, huwag dikit-dikit Dumistansya para iwas sakit Naging open ang window Para maganda ang airflow Repeat, tandaan Bakuna, bayanihan, be the kid Halina at mag-
mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. O oh God, creator of the heaven and the universe, you are worthy of our praises. In you alone, we pray and submit ourselves, for we are nothing without you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness and mercy. Dear Lord, we gather here today with the intent of doing good in thy name. Guide us to the right path. May our efforts be blessed with insights, understanding, wisdom, and respect for all. May our deep faith in you give us strength to act honestly and well in all matters before us. Amen. Good day, everyone. Welcome to the National Educators Academy of the Philippines 30th Year Anniversary Celebration. Neap at 30, galing neap, galing neap. Truly, a day to celebrate for neap personnel then and now, for teachers and for school leaders. Neap's 30th year is to reminisce all the hard work, dedication, and commitment everyone has selfly shared through the years in our pursuit to becoming better quality Filipino educators. It is to look back at how we have been empowered and transformed into nurturing, excellent, agile, and professional educators. Good morning, everyone. I am Florentino Barron Jr., but you can call me June. And with me is... Hello, everyone. I am Denise Strongson, but you can call me Dak. And as mentioned by June earlier, NAEP celebrating its 30th anniversary. So the participants might be asking, especially the teachers, what is in store for us in this celebration? You know what, June, this is just the first in the series of events. And surely, there is the inauguration of the modernized NAEP Baguio facility and the NAEP transformation launch on June 9 and 10 at our NAEP training center and Baguio teachers camp. So what else do we have, June? Yes, Dax. There will be another live event on June 15 where we will show how to navigate the Professional Development Learning Management System or PDLMS. It is where you can access our NAEP recognized programs. We will also feature the updated list of NAEP recognized programs where you can maximize the NAEP 379 data package loaded into your NAEP SIM cards. This updates 
and more are the reason why we are highly we highly suggest that you follow and check our NEAF Facebook page for current and future happenings and professional development opportunities. Dax, alam mo, tama ka. Today is just the first of the series of celebrations we will have in the coming weeks. And now to start the ball rolling, let us welcome the National Educators Academy of the Philippines Director, Director John Arnold Chena, to give us the overview of NEAF Transformation. Three, Nayap. 30 years ago today, the National Educational Learning Center or NELC NELC established through the letter of instruction 1487 was renamed the National Educators Academy of the Philippines or NEAP by virtue of administrative order number 282. From then on, the National Educators Academy of the Philippines, or NEAP, or the Acad Academy, has been at the forefront of training our education leaders in various fields of the curriculum and instructional supervision, school management, and leadership. Indeed, its role in promoting quality education has been critical in the midst of the continuing challenges to the education sector. As we celebrate the achievements and milestones of the past 30 years, we honor all the education leaders who have been instrumental in the strengthening of NEAP as an institution of learning for our teachers and school leaders. The past secretaries and their teams, the NEAP directors are the giants upon whose shoulders we are sitting on right now. Their passion to propel NEAP to greater heights will always be in our hearts. We honor and thank our current Secretary, Leonor Magtolis Briones, and Under Secretary Nipomoseno Malaluan, and the rest of the Execom for relentlessly pushing for the transformation of NEAP in order to better respond to the call for better education quality, even as we grapple with the realities of the volatile, complex, uncertain, ambiguous, and disruptive 21st century. The clarity of their vision and their strong resolve to put into reality the transformation have been the wind beneath the wings of the National Educators Academy of the Philippines. The transformation which involves program and organizational transformation as well as systems strengthening aims to achieve four things. First, to streamline professional development of teachers and school leaders. Second, to make training programs and courses programmatic and accountable. Third, to effectively link professional development with career progression. And fourth, to generate efficiency in the use of resources. The transformation has not only expanded the NEA personal complement to be able to realize its more focused mandate, but it has also led to the adoption of a PD curriculum, which is the basis for all the programs and priorities within the Department of Education insofar as teachers and school leaders are concerned. We also adopting a quality assurance mechanism that is tighter and more formalized. Under this policy, all programs should undergo recognition and non deped providers should also undergo appropriate authorization. To ensure that these programs and teacher participation are captured, we have developed a professional development information system. All these things and more continue to unfold. And we are all excited about the future of NEAP and the future of teacher professional development in the Philippines. As mentioned by Dax earlier, on June 9 and 10, we will launch the NEAP transformation. The event is a celebration of the milestones that NEAP has achieved in its transformation efforts, even while we are mindful of where NEAP came from, and even while we are mindful and we are honoring as well the contribution of the past 
administrations, and directors of NAYAP. We will also inaugurate NAYAP Baguio facility, which has been upgraded to world-class standards. So you're all invited to see it. It will be capable of online learning, real-time streaming, in addition to interactive library and other facilities that will help in providing quality learning environment that leads hopefully to more positive learning experience for our training participants. We also acknowledge at this point, the productive collaboration with our partners, our DepEd offices across the governance levels from central office, the bureaus, the units and the services down to the schools, other government institutions, bilateral and multilateral partners in the international community, private organizations and institutions, individuals who are just too many to mention. They have played an important role as NAYAP carry out, carries out its mission, its programs, and its activities. Today, I invite you all, our colleagues, our teachers, all the audience on Facebook Live, to reflect on the past 30 years and to pick some lessons from them so that the wisdom that we gain will be able to guide us as we intensify our campaign for better quality of education. We should be 30 years wiser, so to speak, in so far as NAYAP is concerned. Let us bring these lessons with us as we continue our work and our mission in ensuring that our learners benefit from highly competent and committed teachers and school leaders. With NAYAP transformation goals and objectives as our guide, and the teachers and school leaders and learners as our inspiration, NAYAP will commit to continue to find ways to innovate and to improve our services as the training and professional development arm of the department for teachers and school leaders until we are able to experience that galing NAYAP, galing NAYAP so that our learners will be holistically developed as enshrined in our K-12 vision. Our journey will never be complete. It will go on and on for as long as there are teachers and school leaders who strive to be better every day to serve our learners, who commit to a better life for everyone in the community, who hold on to their profession and calling. Hence, this journey is a journey with you, our dear teachers and colleagues. You are the essence of NAYAP's existence. You are our lifeblood. So be with us as we continue to grow, empower, and transform. Once again, let us greet each other. Happy 30th anniversary. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the day. God bless everyone. Thank you, Director John, for the brief yet very informative talk. Truly, galing neyap, galing neyap. We hope to remind our viewers that active engagement is important in this activity. If you still remember that, during the ceremonial mass orientation we had last October 2021, we gave away cell phones and tablets drawn from those who updated their PDIS account. I could still remember this activity. I was really hoping that my name could be picked kasi ang ganda ng mga gadgets na napanalunan ng mga participants natin noon. And today, let me also share with you, Dax, and to all our viewers, that our list of gracious sponsors is quite long. That means, uh, again, we will be giving away gadgets to pre-drone winners and active participants in our activity. Hello? Do you hear me now? Pasansya ka na, Juna? Yes, that's... Medyo iniisip ko din na parang dapat kasali ako. <laughs> Alam mo, ito yung mga times na parang, teka lang ha, parang gusto ko na manalo ng gadget. But again, let me say that again. We will announce later on our free drawn winners and we will have an activity later where they will all have a chance to win. Kaya po... 
please prepare your pen and paper. Take note of the important details that will help you win for the, uh, the prizes that we have for today. Indeed, sabi nga ni Director John kanina, it is a day to celebrate. Kaya naman, let us always stay tuned to NAEP's FB pages for updates. Now, may we direct your attention to a presentation on the different NAEP-related assurances that for some may be a flashback of their NAEP journey and for others, an onboarding on how NAEP came to be. Saan na ba galing ang NAEP? Please watch this video. As we look back at the issue one says, we could see how NEAP evolved in form and function. Galing NEAP, galing NEAP talaga. From the training facility in Baguio in 1986 to summer professional development programs for school leaders, and now to becoming the designated professional development arm of DepEd to ensure accountable, programmatic, and streamlined design and delivery of training activities for teachers and school leaders. How hard, how hard is that indeed? How about now? Do you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes, that. Overwhelmed ako. I'm just speechless. Because it really showed how, how, how heartwarming it is to be part of NAYAP. Because now we're seeing that NAYAP is spreading its wings as in talagang grow, empower, and transform. Now, this time, syempre, hindi lang ito celebration namin as in NAYAP personnel at hindi lang ng mga nag-train uh, nag -train sa training facility ng NAYAP noon at ngayon. Lahat po ng Facebook viewers natin ngayon, of course, kasali. Kaya, Sir June... Ready na ba yung mga notes mo kanina? Yung mga uh, teachers natin sa Facebook Live, I hope you are ready. Because we are going to have a mini game lang naman po ito. Okay, can we show our mechanics for this game? Ayan. So we will flash a question on the screen. And please comment in the comment section your answer together with your complete name school and region. Let me say that again. Your answer together with your complete name, school and region. Our secretariat will choose the first five correct entries with complete details. The winners will be announced 
before the program ends. Again, po, first five correct entries with complete details. Again, please be reminded po ha, that even if you got the right answer but you did not type in your complete name o kaya naman hindi natin nalagay sa school, hindi natin nalagay sa region, your entry will not be considered. Again, the formula is your, your answer, complete name, school, and region. Sir June, there will be four questions. And the four questions na yun, we will choose five correct answers. Meaning, for this game, we will have 20 gadgets to be given away. Sir Jun, ready ka na ba? And I hope our Facebook viewers are also ready. Here comes our first question. Sir Jun? Yes, Dax. I hope yung mga viewers natin ready na ngayon. Kasi kung ako tatanungin mo, Dax, ready, ready na ako. Gusto kong gusto ko nang manalo ng gadgets na yan. Ayan, sige. So ipakita na natin yung first question. So the first question is, what was Neap's former name? Again, what was Neap's former name? So type in your answer now in our comment section. Alright, so I hope may nakakuha po na ng tamang sagot. And the correct answer is, that is NELC or the National Education Learning Center. That's for the next question. For our second question, but may nakita kong nakatawa kay Dina. So, feeling ko meron din to. When was NELC renamed to NEAP? Again, when was NELC or National Educator Education Learning Center renamed to NEAP. And 10 seconds, we'll begin now. Did we have the right answer na? All right. Our answer is May 27, 1992. Again, the answer is May 27, 1992. Kaya po, happy birthday anniversary. Kaya po. Question number three. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you, Dax. Uh, nakikita ko ang dami nag nagko-comment ng tamang sagot. Sana, sana ay maraming manalo sa ating mag-game trivia today. And for the number three viewers, be ready po. Number three question is, what administrative order or AO was issued in 1992 that renamed NELC as NEAP? Again, what administrative order or AO was issued in 1992 that renamed NELC as NEAP? 10 seconds. Ayan. Piling ko maraming nakakuha nito. So, ang tamang sagot for number three is Administrative Order number 2A2 or AO 2A2. Congratulations sa ating mga winners. Congratulations po sa ating mga winners. All right. For our last question. Naku, yung mga feeling nila, hindi pa sila naka, nakapanalo. Bukang ito na po yung chance nyo. Question number four. What is the department order on the implementation of NEAP transformation, which is a major reform initiative for NEAP's organization and program transformation? Again, what is that depth-ed order on the implementation of NEAP transformation? This is quite recent. Naku, nagbigay na ako ng clue, Sir Jun, na. Okay, 10 seconds. Hi, I'm Sir Jun. 
Deped order number 11, series of 2019. Again, that's Deped order number 11, series of 2019. If you want to look for how we plan to transform AAP organizationally and you know, in our programs, you can might as well refer to that Deped order. Again, congratulations to all our readers. Indeed, galing ng NAAP. Yes. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you also to the teachers, to all teachers who are actively participating in this activity. The winners will be announced in a little while, so stay tuned. This time, we will announce 40, I repeat, that's 40, free draw winners of digital gadgets. The raffle draw last Wednesday, 25th of May, was witnessed by NEAP and Office of the Secretary Staff. Raffle entries came from the updated PDIS registration accounts. As of May 23, 2022, there are 168,005 PDIS updated accounts. We strongly encourage the teachers to update their PDIS account. So, so tingin po tayo lahat sa screen. At makinig mabuti, baka ang pangalan niyo po ang nabunot. Now, the first 20 winners are... Okay, we have from Region 1, we actually have three winners from Region 1. Sir Ian Emmanuel Aday, Ma'am Marisa Ligeb, and Ma'am Christina Valencia. Congratulations po. From Region 2, we also have three winners. Ma'am Donita Jane Canceran, Ma'am Jodine Lagi, and Ma'am Nolilin Nolin Ramirez. We have three, I mean two winners from Region 3. Ma'am Lilibeth Flores and Ma'am May Cadiz. Congratulations. We also have winners from Calabarzon. Ma'am Riza Dessa Egay, Ma'am Christina Padayong, and we have another winner from Calabarzon, Sir Orlan Lloyd Landoy. Next, we have two winners from Mimaropa, Ma'am Desiree Evangelista and Ma'am Marisa Loto. Congratulations po! And we have winners from Region 5, Ma'am Rochelle Rugidor, and Ma'am Jasmine Kanikula. Yan. We also have winners from Region 6, two actually. Sir Nere Magno and Ma'am Maria Karina Nunyal. We also have two winners from Region 7, Ma'am Presenda Carillas and Ma'am Ana Marie Postreros. We also have from Region 8, Ma'am Vina Pia. Again, congratulations everyone sa mga nabunod po. Yeah, and here comes our other uh, winner. Ito na po yung 21 or 23rd rather 40th winner natin. We have Ms. Selma Obligado. Uh, Ms. Amy Bitonio, both from Region 8. Region 9, we have Queen John Samtang, Jovian Bartolome. Region 10, uh, Region 10 rather, we have Evelyn Seville. Unalu Marie Lapini, Lee Montalbo, and then Region 11, Ms. Peter Tullahower, and Ms. Lee Chong Montal. And on the technical part of the team, we have Mr. Kanye Jackson. Thank you. Alright, next up naman po, our other winner. From Region 11, we have Joel Carrillo. From Region 12, we have Roselle May Kilaton, South Anthony Geronimo, Contessa Latif. From Caraga, we have Herminia Vicado D. 
Dave Zivedal, and from NCR, we have Mara Vida Codon, Joyce Banico, and from CAR, we have Rosine Polentino and Glory Doyo. Again po, left most part of your screen, you will see what, ano po yung napanalunan natin. Alright. Congratulations again to our lucky winners. Alam nyo, Neyap is really happy to know that these gadgets will be used in your classes and also, of course, in accessing our NAYAP recognized professional development program. And please take note po, uh, an official memo will be issued with the names and winners and uh, only NAYAP personnel will contact you on how to claim the prizes. Again, for reminder, ha, NAYAP Central Personnel, NAYAP Central Office Personnel lang po ang kukontakt sa ito. At wala pa kaming sisingilin sa pagbigay ng instructions on how to claim your prizes. Again, congratulations. Yes, Jack. Congratulations again to all the winners. At syempre, iwas mo tayo sa mga scammers. Now, as we celebrate NAYAP's 30th anniversary, let us move forward together. Allow us to share with you another milestone. For the information of our viewers and participants, since 2009, we've been using the NAYAP seal as institutionalized and debit order 111 series of 2009 that features the symbols for truth, life, enlightenment, and wisdom. On NAYAP's 30th anniversary, let us unveil the NAYAP logo. Are the elements of our NAYAP logo. We have the butterfly, transformation. Wings are like open books symbolizing education with pixels on the tip showing adaptation to the digital age. Flight or flying is about empowerment, as in giving teachers and school leaders wings to fly. Humans forming heart. The human side of NAYAP symbolizing partnership with the heart showing its nurturing and compassionate nature. Carried over from the seal, humans in front and at the center symbolizes growth. Ellipsis. Carried over from the seal, the ellipsis symbolizes community, more visible at the backstage as NAYAP illuminates community with its yellow color showing NAYAP enlightening community. Colors from the seal. Major colors carried over from the seal are the color purple that symbolizes truth, blue for life, and yellow white represents enlightenment and wisdom. Ayan, that's our NAYAP deal. You know what, June? We are honored and grateful on how our current debt and administration supported the transformation of NAYAP that is not only evident in the details of the logo, but more importantly, on how the organization and programs are transforming for the betterment of the teachers and school leaders. As what we have mentioned earlier, also, we will be giving away gadgets to our online participants who actively participated in our activity a while back. And I'm sure, Kanina, a lot of you enjoyed that activity. Yes, Dax. I'm pretty sure that they enjoyed the trivia game that we had earlier. And I'm also pretty sure that the viewers are so excited for the announcement of winners in our game earlier. So what are we waiting for, viewers? Here are the 20 lucky winners for our trivia game. Congratulations to Ma'am Christine Agra Biduya from Masapang Integrated National High School in Calabarzon. Second, we also have Ms. Rosabel S. Manchnedo from Tabas National High School, Camarines Norte. Bilis natin magbigay ng winner, Sir Juna. Okay, yes. third. Ganyan tayo sa NAYAP. 
Aling nayap, galing nayap talaga. And number three winner, congratulations, Mom Angelica T. Arceo from Pulong Gubat High School in Pampanga. We also have FJ Charlene C. Lasta from Manga National High School, Region 7. Also, and, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Sergeant. Yes. Congratulations also to Ma'am Rosabel S. Man Manchedo from Tabas National High School in Camarines Norte, Region 5. Ila Lagon from Biao Elementary School, Region 7. Congratulations to Ma'am Janine A. Cosset from Malagos Elementary School, SPED Center in Region 11. We also have Derry Yosil Baladhai from San Agustin Elementary School, Western Visayas. Yes. Ma'am Diana Look from Sinandingan Elementary School in Region 7 again. Sarah May L. Serna from Alegria National High School, SDN Saraga. The number 11th winner is Ma'am Jessa May R. Duming Seal from Dadaor Elementary School in Region 1. Sir Ray June Lorania, Moscoso Rios National High School, Region 6. Congratulations also to Ma'am Joy Dolor Palar from Integrated School in NCR. Our 14th winner, we have Benamay O. Locasan from Julio Ledesma National High School, Region 6. Yes, and so this is our 15th winner, Ma'am Beverly Azura from Ma Mai Dolong El Central Elementary School from Region A. And our 16th winner, Marihen D. Zuniga from Dumaguete City, WCES. Yes, and um, our 17th winner, so makinig po lahat at Tingin po lahat ng viewers natin dito, baka kayo na po yung susunod na nanalo para sa trivia game. Our 17th winner, congratulations to Ma'am Maria Rivera from Cisco, I mean from Francisco P. Felix Memorial National High School. Region 6, uh, Region 4A, Calabarzon. I repeat, Ma'am Maria Rivera from Francisco P. Felix Memorial National High School from Region 4A, Calabarzon. Right. Our 18th winner, Cindy A. Alcazar Talon from Talon Elementary School. Region 4A, Calabarzon. Wow, dalawa na yan. Sunod from Calabarzon, ha? From, for our 19th winner, ayan. Baka kayo na po ito. Congratulations to Ma'am Melita Kumaldi from Tabuk City Division. Um, yes, from Tabuk City Division. And that's our last winner. <laughs> Sige. For our last winner, Mr. Harry Chester G. Antistan from Marinao Peralta National High School, Region 11. Ayan po. You are our lucky winner. Maraming maraming salamat po for joining our activity later. Uh, earlier rather, pero bukod po sa pagsalis activity at pagkapanalo ng gadgets, we hope that you also uh, knew Nayap na or na, you also know Nayap na yan. Kilala na po natin si Nayap. Ayan. So truly, it is galing Nayap, galing Nayap. Para ang bilis natin, no? Because even if it feels like we just started the celebration, it's almost time for us to close this activity. But then again, just like what we have mentioned earlier, no? This is just the first of the series of activities. So for now, let us all welcome Ms. Anna Marie Sanjago, the office officer in charge PDO5 of the Professional Development Division for her closing year. Check first if they can hear you. Hello? Hello? 
Yes, Miss Marie, we can hear you. Okay, you can hear me. That's nice. But can you see me? <laughs> okay. Yes, awesome. Yeah. Now, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I just need to ask, maybe, just to be able to go and be reminded of the why do we celebrate anniversaries anyway? Diba? Why do we celebrate? It's supposed to be a commemoration of uh, a specific date, how important this particular date is, date is for your birthdays, for your anniversaries, right? Um, but not only that, you have to be able to learn how to go and celebrate small wins, small gains. Diba? For example, if you have um, let's just finish an, a very daunting task or you were able to go and... Um, shall we say, finish a degree. Diba? Those things need to be celebrated. You were able to go and face your fears. These are very important celebrations. And with that particular thing, we go back to May 27, 1992. Why is this very, very important? Because based on the AO, the Administrative Order 282, the National Education Learning Centers was renamed National Educators Academy of the Philippines. Yan ang isa sa pinaka-importante na dapat natin matandaan sa araw na ito. Um, with that, it also added, of course, some of the mandates of the National Educators Academy. Imagine from NELC na mix pa nun dati, kung natatandaan nung iba, the Ministry of Education pa, Tapos noong 1992, nag Department of Education, Culture, and Sports. At ngayon, nasa Department of Education na lang tayo, di ba? Uh, what is so important about this particular milestone, this celebration? 2022, we see the day of transformation. Slowly but surely, we have gone through so many things throughout the years. And we have to be able to celebrate that. Um, because organizationally, we have seen so many things, changes, right? We have added so many individuals in the group. And we have, of course, transformed the office into more client and more reliable and definitely more program and program status is more programmatic at this point in time. Uh, we see the quality assurance of most of the programs. We have opened our doors to our learning service providers. At isa pang pinaka-importante rin na dapat natin isipin for 2022. Um, RA-11713, or otherwise known as the Excellence in Education Act, has been signed into law. What makes this important as part of our milestone in AO? This is in Section 17. We now have, of course, the institutionalization of NAYAP and its mandate. Di ba ang ganda ng isa-celebrate natin? Sana sa susunod ng mga taon na ating pupuntahan, we need to be reminded of the idea that NAYAP is or has been created in order to serve each one of you, our teachers, our school leaders. And we can become better because through all the milestones and through our commemoration, our anniversaries, we celebrate our gains and losses, learnings, of course. Um, we have acknowledged our, our mistakes and learn from those mistakes. And then, of course, we move forward. It will strengthen our resolve to move forward so that we could be able to go and help our teachers grow, be more empowered, and transform themselves to become better teachers and better school leaders for our learners. Definitely, NAYAP will always be here for all of you. With that, I would like to thank everybody for joining. And please celebrate with us because NAYAP is for you. For all of you teachers and all of you school leaders, we will not exist if you're not around because we are here to serve you. So with that, good day, everyone. Thank you for that message. Ms. Marie, you know, thank you for reminding us that you know, NAYAP is more than just an organization. It, it's really an affiliation, 
di ba nga, basta galing ngayap ka, may galing ngayap ka. So before we close, allow me to say as well that, you know, all of us here in NAYAP Central Office and, you know, we hope that all of our colleagues as well in our NAYAP field offices are also honored to be part of this program to celebrate NAYAP's 30th anniversary today. Again, please note, this 30th anniversary celebration or activity is just the beginning. We have mentioned earlier that the NAYAP facility in Teachers Baguio has undergone rehabilitation and while at it, again, may I invite everyone on June 9 on the live broadcast of our inauguration. Follow, like, and share NAYAP's Facebook page for more updates on our live events and different recognized professional development programs that are in store for all of our teachers and school leaders. Kaya naman, again, cheers to more years of galing up, galing NAYAP. This is Max Chongson and my colleague, June Baron. Maraming salamat po for joining us today. Happy 30th anniversary, NAYAP.